Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Perkenalkan kami dari kelompok 1 Fisikalistik 11 Fakultas Teknik Universitas Indonesia Ingin menjelaskan mengenai Energi potensial, energi kinetik Dan usaha Sebelumnya perkenalkan nama saya Nasi Sukma Aulia dari Departemen Teknik Elektro Perkenalkan nama saya Nur Muhammad Ari Katala dari Departemen Teknik Metalurgi dan Material Perkenalkan nama saya Mulia Nur dari Departemen Teknik Industri dan nama saya Safira Salma Dewi dari Departemen Teknik Metalurgi dan Material Selamat menyaksikan In physics, measure of energy transfer that occur when an object is moved over a distance by an external force at least part of which is applied in the direction of the displacement. If the force is constant, work may be computed by multiplying the length of the path by the component of the force acting along the path. Work done on a body is accomplished, is accomplished not only by the displacement of the body as a whole from one place to another but also, for example, by compressing a gas Barrating a shaft and even by causing invisible motions of the particles within a body with by an external magnetic, magnetic force. The equation is work equal force times displacement co times cosine theta. Since the standard metric of Unit of force is neuron, and the standard metric unit of displacement is meter. Then the standard metric unit of work is newton times meter, defined as a joule and abbreviated with a J. Question: Consider the work example problem. A train covers a distance of 15 kilometers and that the force is causing it to accelerate a rate of 0.7 meter per s cube calculate the work done work solution work equal 15 times 0.7 equal 10.5 joule therefore the value of work is 10.5 joule so today i will give you a lecture about energy conservation however i would like to give all the credit to james prescott jewel for making this theory he says that energy can be created or annihilated or for common saying destroyed but it can be transferred or changed into different form in battery, we can see one example of energy conservation as it shows us how energy change a form from a chemical form to electrical form. Things that can be forgotten when we want to talk about energy conservation is its type of energy as it consists of potential energy, kinetic energy, and mechanical energy. Potential energy What is potential energy? Potential energy is the energy that an object has because it has a certain heat from the ground. Potential energy exists because of the Earth's gravity. If the object moves, the object experiences a change in potential energy into motion energy. Potential energy is also can be defined by the energy possessed by an object due to the influence of the place or position of the object. Potential energy is the energy that affects objects because of the position of the object where the tendency is towards infinity with the direction of the force generated from the potential energy. The international unit for measuring effort and energy is Joule. The term potential energy was first put forward by a Scottish technician and physicist William Rankin. The formula of potential energy is EP. M multiply G multiply H EP for potential energy with the international unit N M for mass G for gravity and H for height. There are four types of potential energy 
First, gravitational potential energy, which is the energy possessed by an object because it is located on the surface of the Earth. The second, potential energy elasticity. It is the energy stored on objects that are being stretched, for example, on slingshot rubber and arrowheads or on press. And third, chemical energy is the energy contained in a substance. And fourth, electric energy is the energy that has an electric charge and electric current. There is an example of the potential energy. Use this principle to determine the blanks in the following diagram. Knowing that the potential energy at the top of the tall platform is 50 joule, what is the potential energy at the other positions shown on the stair steps and the inclined? For the answer, A, the potential energy is 40 joule, since the same mass is elevated to 4 per 5 the height of the top stair. It is the same for B, C, D, E, and F. We use uh, elevate the height of the top stair to answer the question. B for 30 joule, C 20 joule, D 10 joule, and E and F for 0 joule. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Whether it is vertical or horizontal motion has kinetic energy. There are many forms of kinetic energy, such as vibrational, rotational, and translational. To keep matters simple, we will focus upon translational kinetic energy. The energy transfer is known as kinetic energy, and it depends on the mass and speed achieved. The equation for kinetic energy is 1 half mass velocity square. It is half of the mass times the square of the velocity. We are given the mass of the bullet and its velocity, allowing us to calculate the kinetic energy from this formula. The kinetic energy is 1 half of the mass 0.01 kg times the velocity squared, in this case 750 m per second. And the answer is 2812.5 Joule. Linear Momentum and Collision Linear Momentum The linear momentum of a particle is a vector quantity P that is defined as P is equal m multiple v in which m is the mass of the particle and the v is its velocity. The time rate of the change of the momentum of a particle is equal to the net force acting on the particle and is in the direction of that force. From p is equal m multiple v, we will get, get f is equal to dp over dt. The particle may interact with each other an external force may act on them. The system as a whole has a total linear momentum P, which is defined to be the vector sum of the individual particle linear momentum. Impulse Impulse is the integral of a force F over the time interval T for it which it acts. Impulse symbolized by G. We know that G is equal into integral t1 to tf of f t dt or we know that g is equal to delta p collision collision is the event in which two or more bodies exert force on each other in about a rel relatively short time there's a type of a collision the first type a perfectly elastic collision is defined as one in which there is no loss of kinetic energy in the collision. In reality, any microscopic collision between objects will convert some kinetic energy to internal energy and other forms of energy. So, no large-scale impact are perfectly elastic. However, some problems are sufficiently close to perfectly elastic that they can be approximate as such. In this case, the coefficient of restitution equals 1 to type 2. An elastic collision is one in which part of the kinetic energy is changed to some other form of energy in the collision. Momentum is conserved in an in, in elastic collision 
as it is, as it is for elastic collision but one can attract the kinetic energy to the collision in some of its converter to other forms of energy in this case coefficient of restitution doesn't equal one there is a question race car wall collision just before the collision he is traveling at the speed vi is equal 70 meter per second along a straight line at the 30 angle from the wall just after the collision he is traveling at speed v f is equal 50 meter per second along a straight line at the angle 10 from the wall his mass m is 80 kilogram and what is the impulse similar size by g on the drive due to the collision so the answer of the question is the first step we must search for x component gx is equal m multiple v f x minus v i x so gx is equal 80 multiple 50 cos minus 10 minus 70 cos 30 so gx is equal minus 910 kilogram meter per second the second step we must search for y component gy equal m multiple v f y minus v i y so g y is equal 80 multiple 50 since minus 10 minus 70 since 30 so g y is minus 3500 kilogram meter per second so g is equal root of minus 910 square plus minus 3500 square so g is equal to 3600 kilogram meter per second sekian presentasi dari kami semoga uh, materi yang kita bawakan telah tersampaikan wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh jangan lupa like, comment, subscribe, nggak mau, nggak mau.